Hey guys, it's your boy Peps. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna show you how to do aloe pollination. So a lot of you guys messaged me in my Facebook page about how did I do what I showed you in my story? How do I pollinate my aloe? So luckily for us, we have two aloes in bloom today. This aloe TCT hybrid and this aloe belfior hybrid. So we're gonna have a demo on how do I do aloe pollination? And we're gonna also explain the things why we do this and how do we do this efficiently. Now in aloe pollination, your main goal is you really wanna create new hybrids or new aloe hybrids. So you want to create seed pods through pollination. You want to create seeds and these seeds will be planted to produce new yellow hybrids. Now the importance of this is that in case you want a certain property of an aloe such as um, an aloe with lots of flex and you also want this flecky aloe to be mixed with an aloe that is more compact. So if you try to pollinate these two, you'll have an aloe which is compact and which will also have these flecks and color. So that's the importance of creating new aloe hybrids and also pollination. For the things that you might need would be um, this mesh mesh. This is an organza mesh. You need to have this to keep the seeds in place of the seed pods. You also want to have certain tools. Some people use a brush. I use this acrylic brush. You can find these on bookstores anywhere. Or you could have some forceps. These forceps are really handy since they can easily reach out to the pollens of these other hybrids. Okay. So to begin with, Let's first identify the donor and the recipient aloe. So the donor basically gives off the pollen. So we're going to get the pollen from the stamen of the plant. And the recipient is where we put the pollen in the stigma or this long, can you see this in the camera? This long unpollinated part, that's the stigma. So this Belfior aloe hybrid, it's actually really pretty. Now it, it just looks green because it's unstressed. I place him in shade since there's more success when you place aloe in shade rather than in full sun. It keeps the flowers um, stable. It doesn't burn them because they're in shade. That's why he's very unstressed, so not so colorful. Anyways. So let's use this as the pollen donor. Here, you get the pollen from the stamen. So you just try to brush it off, just like that. So, like this. I'm not sure if it's clear in the camera, but can you see there's a few pollens, those yellow things that stick to my forceps, those are pollens. We're gonna use that to place them in the stigma of our recipient plant. So this TCT hybrid. So to identify the stigma, it's pretty easy. Um, the stigma usually is sticking out of the flowers. Let me just show it to you here. There. You see that long thing that's sticking out of the flowers? That's a stigma. So what we're going to do is we get the pollen that we got earlier and place it on the stigma. Now for aloe pollination, these two aloes, I'm going to place them in shade so that the flowers won't burn. And if you want to have good success rate, some collectors do pollination in the morning, some do at night. So which, whichever depends. Whichever you observe has good success rate. But for me, I have good success rate in the mornings. Now, if you want to see if the aloe took the pollen or if it had good success, 
you might observe it within a week or two what you'll see is these things it will produce seed pods from the flower itself so this flower the flowers they they will they will produce a bump and once the bump gets bigger it will produce these seed pods let me show you so this so these seed pods they will be mature or ripe within a month or so and they will crack open so when they crack open seeds comes out and you don't want them to be blown by the wind that's why i'm using this meshwork this is an organza mesh you can basically buy this anywhere on the internet it's pretty cheap so i just wrap the seed pods here on the mesh to secure the seed so that they won't be blown away so yeah and if you're curious what aloe seeds looks like i have harvested a few uh, a week ago so this is what i'm talking about when the seed pods crack they look like this they open up and they they basically release the seed so you wouldn't want the seeds to be blown away they will so if you have a mesh work what happens is the seeds will be trapped here which is a good thing because we're gonna sow this after a week or so what i do after after harvesting seeds is i let them air dry and then so thereafter so if you're not yet familiar with sowing aloe hybrid seeds maybe i'll put a link down below or a link in this video you can check it out it's pretty efficient the close method and i think that's it for this video aloe pollination it's pretty basic guys i tell you it just requires a lot of patience and the basic knowledge on aloe hybrid creation so that's it hope this video is informative and if it does please do like and subscribe to my channel guys it really helps a lot and as always see you on the next video peace